so it decided to beep again. Okay, today is March the 7th. Uh, yesterday... Seventh. 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 Okay, here we go. Um, yesterday, they were given this assignment for homework, and basically this vocab I also put on yesterday's video. Here's the plan. If you need this vocab, after I go over all the math problems, I'm going to put them back up there. Okay? So, listen, don't. Does that make sense? I'm going to put them back up here. Okay. Here we go. So let's check our math, the actual math part of it. Here we go. Looking at just one at a time. Because I want to make sure that we are just one at a time here. Okay. So I took on this find the mean, mean, median mode stuff. Okay, the chart over here of Kevin's race times. I took them and first I put them in order from least to greatest. That's the biggie. If you don't put them in order, it's, you're probably going to get the wrong median especially. Okay, I then, to find the mean, and listen, if you don't remember something, you don't know how to do it, you did it wrong, listen, I need you to write down how to do it because here's the thing, like we're going to do this assignment. Okay. So, yes. What? The median? Give me just a second. Let's do one at a time. Are we ready? Okay. Yes. On the test, if you put it from largest to smallest, it still would be still, it still be correct, or would we have to do the smallest? It, um... You would get the same median, but with range, you know, it just makes you do the biggest, most smallest. I'll be honest. I'm not grading this. I got some kids who refuse to write this. The problem is they miss half the test. This is just for you. Like, this is kind of like your work. Does that make sense? Okay. So, I put it in order. Now, to find the mean, and, and make yourself a note if you're not sure what to do. To find the mean, you're going to add them all up. I added all these up and I got 50. And you divide by however many numbers there are. And there are five numbers to get 10. Add and divide. Everybody get on me. Okay, median. I just literally take my fingers and I go in until I find the middle one. The middle one for this one is 10. Since it is just an exact number, there's two on this side and two on this side, we can just write that number. It's easy. Okay. Mode. None of these repeat any more than the rest. So there's not two tens or two nine point twos. You got some choices here. You can write no mode, none, just don't write zero, because zero is a number. Okay. And range. Range is your largest number, which is 10.9, minus your smallest number, which is 9.2. Doing the subtraction, range, subtraction, not addition, subtraction, is 1.7. Does everybody get on the first one? Okay. Any questions? Okay. Okay, the second one. Okay, talking about this one. This one did have a bunch of numbers. And I did have to kind of triple check that I was writing them all, not skipping any and all that. Okay, so for the mean, I added them all up. I got 195. Divided by 10, because there's 10 numbers, giving me 19.5. That decimal has to be there or it's wrong. Okay, everybody get on that one. You good? Okay, so make sure everybody knows how to do it, okay? Median. On the median on this one, if I go in, and I know this looks silly that I'm literally using my fingers, but... There are two medians, 17 and 19. If there are two of them, 
I have to add them up. I got 36 divided by 2, which is 18. If you got like 24.5 or 26 or 0.5, something 0.5, you put it in a calculator wrong. And I kind of talked about that yesterday. You want to do 17 plus 19 equals, get 36, then divide by 2 equals. Everybody good on that one? Okay. Uh, mode, there are two of them. There's two 11s and two 29s. Nothing repeats more than that, so we got both of them. And range, 30 minus 11 is 19. Any questions on those? Okay. I don't mind, guys. I'm just trying to we're kind of take it slow. What? Huh? Uh-huh. You sure? Okay. Um, go into this one, letter B right here. I'm trying to just make it easy to read. Okay. We got, I took the list of numbers, list, least to greatest. The mean was 210 divided by 7 is 30. Listen, when it's that big numbers, if they're that big and there's that many of them, add them twice. Like add them forwards, hit equals, write down your number, add them backwards, and, and make sure you get 210 twice. That's the, you know, it's just a common error. Um, median was an exact number of 28. That one's kind of easy. Mode, there were two 25s. That happens more than the rest. And range is 38 minus 25, so it's 13. Okay, uh-huh. Yeah. Any questions? Okay, I didn't know. Okay, on the next one. Okay, you got a big list of numbers again. Uh, let's see, mean, I got 55 divided by 10 is 5.5. Median, add them together, because there's two of them. Divide by 2. And I kind of like the way, like this is Miss Sawyer's paper, I kind of like the way she did it. She added it. Divided by 2, like, I kind of like that. It, it helps you see that there's 4 on this side and 4 on that side. That's why it's there's 2 of them. No mode. You can either write no mode or none. And then range. 10 minus 1 is 9. Mm -hmm. The median? Okay, the median on this one? Mean. Okay. Mean, you add up all your numbers, okay, hit the equals button, and then divide by however many numbers there are. So that's why I divided by 7. This one had 10, so that's why I divided by 10. So add and divide. Anybody else? I don't mind. Like, this will, this helps to have this. You're kind of going to use this to do an assignment a few minutes and kind of, I call it, you can cheat off of it, but you're not cheating, you're using it. So, everybody good? Okay, on the back, and I realize, um, I'll just tell you. These questions, Ms. Sawyer keeps laughing at me because I'm thinking too deep, and I may have told you number 13 wrong yesterday if you asked me. Um, Start with 12. Okay. It says, what is each student's favorite pizza topping? So she said, think about it this way. If I walk through this room and I say, what's your favorite topping? What's your favorite topping? And they're going, pepperoni, ham, cheese, mushroom, pepperoni, ham, onion, green pepper. Okay. There's a bunch of different answers. So that's why it's statistical. Okay. Now I got that one. It's the next one that got me. The next one says, what is the favorite color of the students at TSGC? Here's my problem. I took it down to color being one. Okay, don't do that. Listen, 
If you walked around the class and you said, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? And you just went by, blue, green, purple, orange, and everybody's giving me different colors. That is why it is statistical, because there's more than one color. I know. To me, that one, I, I don't love it, because I wish it would say students' colors or something. But Okay, and number 14, how many classes does each student at TSGC take? But literally, if I walked around and asked that question, you would all say eight. That's why it is non-statistical because it's only one number. Like each person would say the same number. What would it be in college? I think three. 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 Would it be statistical or not? In college, you can take as many classes as you want. So some kids take four, some take two, some take one. So in college, it's more statistical. I totally understand. Um, I love it. It's okay. You might have learned something. You never know. Um, now, the last part. I went to Troy, but well, I went to UAB for my master's. But okay, for the last part, in case you weren't here, I just want to say, okay, the the four categories or the four things. Please listen because I've had kids go, how do I find that number of observations thing? And I'm like. Guys, we just did it. Like, kind of look for a second. Refresh your brain. Okay, number of observations. How many numbers are up here? How many numbers are you working with? Please write this if you don't have it. Some of you picked up a blank paper today. I need you to make sure you've got this. Yes. Oh, okay, going backwards. We've got means of measure. If it is a pet, or a person, it's going to be a scale. If it is um, like food and volume, measuring cup. What about my height? What would you measure it with? Okay, but what object do we use to measure it? Measuring tape, what else? Tape measure. We could use a yardstick. You could use a ruler, it'd be kind of rough, but you could use a ruler. Um, just be thinking about those words. Mm -hmm. In just a minute. Let me, one second. Um, unit of measure. Like, hey, Manny. Listen, real quick. Okay, unit of measure. What mathematical term do we give that number? Cuts, inches, feet, yards, pounds, miles, gallons, all those good things. And then attribute is basically what I call the title of the chart. So since the attribute like is pet weights, this attribute, I personally would put serving volume. The Sawyer put servings, it's fine. Listen, it's the attribute is kind of like the title. So when you see one of these in a few minutes, like, Use this paper and look back and see what it is. Okay. On C, this, I just had a question. Good. Are you checking C? Is that right? You good? You sure? Okay. Now, here's the plan. Listen, I'm going to leave this vocab up in a minute, but I need you to write something on this assignment that will help you. And we'll do it. Okay. Um, basically, again, obviously we're not doing a test today. We're just doing a small grade assignment. Hopefully turn in by the end of class because, well, it'll just be easier that way. Um, I don't want you to have homework. So why? Um, but keep that paper out because you can use it to kind of look back at if you need it. Hint, hint. Next week, you won't get the cute paper. This week, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.
I don't even know. It looks just like that thing, 16. Um, so, here's what I need you to do. First, hint, hint, if you want my hints, please flip it over to the back and No, I just said I need you to keep it and use it to help you get through the assignment. Now, hint, hint, you should be able to fill in these bars. Like, you should know that that is 275. But we've had a lot of questions. Basically, you guys need to kind of get knowing that if it's between, exactly between 300 and 350, that the middle would be 325. You know, just being able to read those numbers, even if they're in the middle. So we're giving you a hint there. Okay. Please fill these in, because in a second I'm going to flip it over and you won't be able to see them. If I wrote those numbers. Now, On the front, if you'd like, cross out number eight. It's one of those, we kind of put it on there twice. So, will you cross out number eight, cross out number eight, cross out number eight, and I need you to realize, if there are seven sentences and eight words, are you going to use all the words? No. Okay, so you're going to have an extra word, basically. Okay? You're going to have an extra word in the word bank. Write the whole word. Don't, like, I know the lines are short, but you can write it. Okay, now, so here we go. I'm going to put the vocab back up in case you need it. But basically, you've got your own little study guide, your own little